Hello everyone, uh, today I'll be installing my D&D Performance Interior Suede Racing Wheel uh, along with uh, uh, D&D's Spline Quick Release. Um, I already have this Quick Release there, nice carbon. But I already have the NRG Innovations um, Short Hub Adapter on. As for my 2013 Scion FRS, it's a manual, it's a great car, love it. So first, um, I'm going to start with putting the bottom of the, the base of the quick release onto the hub, which is this purple part here, well this whole purple uh, section. So let's start, start with that. So, to install the base of the quick release, the part that actually goes on the hub, like that, um, you're going to need um, the provide, provided hardware, which is this, um, this Allen key they give you, and um, you have six of these, the rest are right here. Um, yeah, these ones go right into the holes, like this, and... Just mount up right on the hub so um, I can't really record me putting it on but I will show you when you know, when it's done so see that in a second so in the end what the steering wheel should look like with the quick release on is it should look like that these are eight millimeter nuts and there's little washers um, you can see that under the nuts um, and you just tighten it with, um, the other, uh, Allen key that the quick release comes with. Um, should be the same one that the steering wheel comes with. Um, I just reused these screws. They were the ones that held the steering wheel in before I got the quick release. So, yeah. Um, yeah, it also came with this air freshener. Their D and D air freshener it smells great. I really like it. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm definitely gonna buy like their Hydra e brake when it comes time to get one. They have some really nice seats there. Um, stickers are nice, and they have a lot of quality products there. So I would definitely recommend it. Um, I've had the wheel for a little bit, as you can see. There's like little things. Those are for me, just you know, using it. Um, it's great. It looks really nice. Um, yeah, it's really awesome. Um, yeah, no, nothing but praise for this. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope this was, you know, helpful as much as I could make it. Um, yeah, um, I'm going to. I'll put the wheel on and show you what it looks like with it, so, one sec. Yeah, so that's what it looks like with the wheel on. I think it looks, it matches my gauges really well. Um, it looks really nice. It's kind of hard to see, but a little bit cramped because of the seating position. Right, the pedals and everything. Uh, but yeah, great. I, you know. It's a lot cheaper than, you know, getting a Marco, Marco, um, Momo, Sparco, um, even some of the NRG higher quality ones, but it's really nice, it feels great, it, it's just great, it's, I, I really enjoy it, um, so yeah, definitely go check it out on the website, they also have a leather one, di different color stitching, they have different color quick releases, and it's great, yeah, so, thanks for watching, and see you guys. So this is what the quick release um, base looks like. You just have it, um, when it's just the base on. So, next is the, um, part that actually goes on the steering wheel. Uh, this part, it just pretty much, hard to show you with the camera, but you push back on this part here, 
um, and then push this part in. Um, you really have to hold this part with one hand and then push this back with the other hand. Um, yeah. And again with this part, I can't really have the ca hold the camera while I put it on, so I'll show you what it looks like on the wheel when I'm finished. So, so that's what it'll look like when it's all the way in. There should be really not much, or really no gap in between there. And um, just keep in mind that the part that of this that goes into the quick release behind um, will be greased so you might get grease on your hand like I did and um, yeah just be careful when doing it uh, some, some grease not much but just be careful when doing it so next part is uh, putting the steering wheel on